here's a little trick I wanted to show you, okay? I'm getting ready. I'm going to wait now for this paint to dry. And I don't necessarily have to go and wash this out. All I have to do is put it in this plastic. And I'm just going to roll it up like this. I'm going to keep it tight so I get keep all the air out of it. Okay? Like that. And that'll keep that'll keep this moist. If I don't do that, I'd have to wash that out because if you don't wash this roller out, it's going to dry and your second coat's not going to turn out very good. So this is going to keep it moist. Okay, I can leave it like that for several hours. I'm going to do the same thing with my little paintbrush here. I don't have to rinse that out. Do I? You can't just you can't just wrap it. You you have to press it. You have to get that air out. That's the key. You don't want any air to get in there. Now that paintbrush, even after four hours, we gotta wait four hours for this to dry because the paint can't set between four and six hours. Okay? This will be nice and moist, ready for the next coat. There's a tip for you. I'm gonna set this back up because I don't want to leave this out. Okay, and so whenever I tap that back down, I always put a rag over that because if you get a, just a little bit of paint in the edge, see like right there, I could have wiped that out. I don't want that to splatter. Nine out of ten times when you hit the can, if you don't have a rag over it, it might splatter and, and get on your steps, get on your wall, whatever. Okay. Ready for the next coat. We gotta wait about four hours. See you then. Oh, I, I forgot. There's one last thing we have to do before we leave this area because I'm not gonna stand out here for the next four hours until this gets dry. So I made, we made a sign, wet paint. Now, how are we gonna do this? I, I was looking around, I thought I had some string because what I'm gonna do is I, I wanna put a piece of string from here over to the downspout. And then take this onto the string. Didn't have any string. All we got is some masking tape. Now, I've, I've not tried this before, but I think it's going to work. Okay. I'm just going to wrap this around there. Give it a few spins. And I can leave it like that, or I can twist it. And I think I'm going to twist it a little bit. I think. You know, it might just be fine just straight. I think I'm going to twist it. What do you think? If you twist it, will it make it sturdier? I don't know. We could twist it like that. Whatever. Drape it down just a little. Get that on there. Now, Joe, this is a very windy day. Is yeah. that going to stay? Yeah, why, why wouldn't it stay? Well, it's a strong wind. You know? Okay, we can do something about that. Yes, we can. Watch and learn, Stern. <laughs> Don't just walk away from your project. Until before you've got it figured out how you're going to protect your your paint job. Now I can connect these. Oh, look at that silly weenie! How many hours do you think you'll wait before we come back to I do the second know. count? Well, you got things to do, so maybe three hours or. Let's say I can put that right there, like that. 
Okay? Nice. Oh, doesn't that look cute? This is what I did a couple days ago. This wasn't painted. The painters got here and they painted all the walls and everything on the building and they forgot to do this wall. So they asked me, hey, Joe, can you come out here and do this? Okay, fine, I did. And I used a two inch brush. And what I did is I just did the reds first, okay? And I cut in, I, I made it beyond this edge just a little bit. And then after those dried, I did the white. Then after the white dried, I came back the next day and did the body. And I put two coats, I put two coats of everything. Doesn't that look nice? If you got a little wall or something like that, you always want to try to look at the existing conditions and kind of mimic that. See, it, it just kind of blends in with everything because the windows were the nice red. You got nice red around the windows over here and the white, and you've got a red uh, screen door and everything. And it, it, just, character it just added a little bit of character. Yeah, it took a little bit of extra time to do the red inserts and stuff, but if, but if you got a chance to do something like that, do it. Hey, well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos. And we're going to wait for this to dry. And then I'm going to come back here and put a second coat on. Should I make a video of that or not? I think I'll just add it to the end of this one probably just so you can see the overall look when it gets all done on the second coat and basically we're going to do the very same thing. All we're going to do is repeat the exact same process that we just did for this first coat. You know what? You can do it. I'm just an average Joe. If I can do it, you can do it. That's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.